Welcome to another segment of Spotlight on Frazy. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm at Rose Lake today with DNR Aquatic Invasive Species Specialist, Nathan Olson. Hi, Nathan. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. So you got uh, uh, quite a deal going on here. What are you, yes. trapping fish out no, here? No, yeah, <laughs> I wish. Um, I'm sure many people have heard about uh, the boat lift that we found with zebra mussels attached to it here in Rose Lake. Uh, a very unique situation where uh, this is the probably the first time in Minnesota history where we've actually found the way something got in, infested. And so uh, behind you can see the, the silt fence that we've got set up. Um, basically what we're trying to do is the zebra mussels we found are really small and they're very isolated right to this location from what we've seen. And so we're trying to, to basically kill them, to eradicate them from Rose Lake before they expand. And so um, today we're gonna be doing our third treatment. Uh, we've done uh, two other treatments before this. This is the last one that we're doing on Rose Lake have some great weather, you know, to you help know us it. with this. And so, uh, you know, in the background here, you can see we have our silt fence and, uh, and <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the silt fence set up for yeah, the containment so area. Yeah, we've got the silt fence. So we're, uh, we're trying to contain the area where the, the zebra mussels were found. And we'll be we're treating 10 acres total with a, a copper based product called Cutrine Ultra. Uh, copper is commonly used to, to kill swimmer's itch. I'm sure many people are familiar with that. Um, also some, some types of algae. And so it's a really common product that we use across Minnesota, but it's also toxic to zebra mussels. And so uh, we're treating inside the silt fence. Uh, the, silt, the silt fence or the silt curtain helps keep the concentration high. Okay. And so, but we also want to do a buffer zone around it as well with the treatment, just in case we missed anything. And so there. you're doing about a 10 acre? 10 area. acres total, yep. It takes them about mm -hmm. maybe an hour or two hours to apply mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have great weather and yeah. uh, Everything looks like it's going really well. We'll probably leave the silt fence in here for another week until uh, the, the chemical starts to dissipate mm -hmm. through the water. And then, so we're probably looking about next week of pulling the silt fence out. And then uh, after that, it's just years of monitoring. We're gonna be continually monitoring to see if, if we were successful. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Well, you know, and uh, now, of course, you have a contractor that does the application. And how much has that cost the DNA? Uh, just for the chemical treatment right now, we're looking at just under $14,000. And so, uh -huh. Um, we haven't added up all the staff time yet that we've oh, had, no. <laughs> uh, you know, spending out here. Usually, uh, you know, I'm out here almost all day uh, mm -hmm. during the treatment because we do some water sampling and stuff afterwards. Um, and then I come back out the following day to do some yeah. other samples. And so, you know, there's, there's definitely quite a bit of staff time involved. Um, also enforcement time. Uh, the investigation is still ongoing after a lot of the press got out. We've had a lot more leads here on, mm -hmm. a, on uh, so hopefully we're going to have a really good case against this, this individual. Well, we appreciate all the work, Nathan, and I know it. This is not an easy thing, and you people need to understand. You're pulling stuff out, out this fall, check everything. All you duck hunters, check all your equipment when you're pot, uh, uh, pothole hop, hopping here. Know your equipment. Watch your lines, your anchors, your decoys, your decoy anchors, your boaters, the bottoms of your boat, your own gear. You make sure you decontaminate. Yeah, and then just, you know, pulling the plug too, you know, that mm -hmm. is, that's a law statewide now that people have to make sure they're pulling the plug and draining yeah. all the water off of their boat. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, everybody has to do their part. You know, I wish that we could be everywhere. Um, you know, we're, we, we know that we can do more as a DNR and we have been doing more. We, oh, yeah. we did get an increase in funding this mm -hmm. year for our program. Um, and so some people may have seen our decontamination units that we have, but really it, it does come down to the individual, just uh, making sure they're draining, drying, and cleaning off all their equipment. Thank you, Nathan. Yep. Best of luck. Yeah, we'll thanks be a lot, Hank. Keeping an eye, and yeah. we appreciate you keeping us informed. All right. And with that, we'll be back for another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Litke, and I'm here today for our Halloween show with Tanya Maston, liquor store operations manager. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Hank. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm having to go and see the orthodontist later today. I think I've got the wrong teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we up to for Halloween? Uh, well, the 29th of October, mm -hmm. here at the liquor store, we're gonna have party to go karaoke for a uh -huh. Halloween party from 8.30 to 12.30. Um, we're gonna have first, second, and third place costume contests. Okay. So come dressed up and um, mm -hmm. first place, we're gonna do a $100 gift certificate for our off sale. Second place will be a $75 gift certificate, and third place will be a $25 gift certificate for the off sale. Mm -hmm. So get dressed up and come down and yeah. have some fun. Come on down and see some of your old ghoul friends. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, you can't be just spooking around by yourself. <laughs> so, and then plus we've got stuff going on in the event center. Yes. Uh, well, actually, care center. We have uh, on the 31st from four to five up at the Frazee Care Center on West Maple Avenue. Uh, there'll be uh, trick or treating allowed up there, and come up and see the senior citizens and the staff up there, and get scared a little bit. Get some candy, play some games, and then at five you can come back down to the event center from five to six thirty, and we'll be having a Halloween party for the kids here, and that's sponsored by the Frazee Area Community Club. Yeah, and, and lots uh, of games yeah. and lots of stuff in the event center for the kids. And that'll be a great it's time. It's really a good thing. Last year I think they had over five hundred kids through there, mm -hmm. so it's a really a lot of fun I for saw the you kids. There. Yes, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> See, they let in kids of all ages too. So. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's it saves a lot of time on going house to house, and a lot of people too donate candy to that, so they do not hand yeah. out at their homes either. So, and you know, so you know, we we appreciate you coming down, bringing your kids or your grandkids or your grand dog, whoever you bring, bring somebody, come and see us. Stop by the care center. Gordon Sanders up there, and some, and Bud Fisher and some of the guys would be happy to see you. And, give you some candy, maybe get some back from you too, some of those guys you got to watch out. <laughs> and then come on down to the event center here. It's a great thing because you don't have to worry about your kids running around the neighborhood, you know, and it's just safe. Every, we, we know where everything's came from, so you, you aren't going to find anything strange in the candy. <laughs> yeah. Or in the games, you know, and we give away a lot of other stuff just besides Yeah, they candy. have a lot of prizes and stuff over there. It's and a good then, time. You know, and then on the 29th, come on down here and see us at the municipal liquor store. Do a little karaoke. <laughs> the frog calling. <laughs> <laughs> but come and see Tanya and I. We'll be having a good time down here with the, all the other people and monsters and everything else running around here. And enjoy your Halloween. And we'll be back to see you in November with the Deer Hunters. Mm. <laughs> and so we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Crazy. Kiss the wife, hug the kids, pet the dog, and wave at the neighbor. And tell them you saw us on Spotlight on Crazy.